Hi, there's a few people in this Facebook thread that have asked about how do you teach a flute embouchure properly. So I am doing two short videos. This is number one. The reason I'm doing two is the first one I'm going to show you how to get the perfect flute embouchure and the perfect way of blowing. This is to tell the student. And in the second video, I'm going to show you how to apply that to the head joint, which might seem really simple. And I actually first did one video just a moment ago, and it was 14 minutes showing you both those things together, which is way too long, way too long. It's like watching a lecture. So these are short videos. The first one is how to get a perfect mouth shape for the flute. The reason I looked down there is I have a little uh, trick that I'm going to show you in a second. So when you blow the flute, your embouchure needs to be small hole, completely relaxed. I was pointing down to my belly, my chest, up here, shoulders, throat, especially mouth, completely relaxed. When you blow, the only point of resistance is behind your lips. So it's not in your neck like that. It's not anywhere. It's behind your lips. So you get your student to blow in the air and you think a little bit about pouting, small hole. And you can explain in your own way the resistance behind the lips that you want. So you blow in the air. Make sure you don't smile. So we want pouty, but obviously not completely ooh. Small hole as possible, as small a hole as possible and resistance only behind the lips, completely free up into the point of your lips. Okay, so let me look down again. I have a little trick to show you how to get all of that with a student, um, get them doing that really easily because that was kind of quite academic the way I told you just then. Now this is a really practical way. This is my little bag of rice. The little bag of medium grain rice that I take with me when I teach beginners. Here's a piece. You get them to put that on the tip of their tongue and they're going to spit it into the air. And it is the perfect embouchure. As long as you tell them a few things. So this is an example. So, a few things. Small hole in their mouth. The way they do that. When you put it on, the, when they put it on the tip, oh, that would be weird. When they put it on the tip of their tongue, just there, they push it up behind their lips and then blow. Keep the air continuing. Sometimes they'll do this with the rice. They'll go and it will just go. So you want them to keep the air going when they spit the rice. Get the rice to go out and fly out. Small hole so that it goes further. And if they smile, it won't work, which is a good thing because you don't want them to smile. If they smile, they'll do this. And they won't be able to get the rice out of the mouth. So they need to do a little bit of a pout, just a little bit. Um, small hole, pout and continuous air. So that's the amazing thing, right, about the rice is how I was talking about everything needs to be free up until the point of behind your lips. That's what this creates. It, it creates a perfect way of um, breathing out. It's pretty amazing. So that is video one. Have I got everything? Mm, yes, I have. Um, I No, I haven't. My, I'm Jane. I didn't introduce myself. Jane Kavanagh, and I love making um, difficult sorts of concepts or teaching techniques really easy to understand, which means it's really easy to teach, which means students, your students, um, get a lot better a lot more quickly. So I live in Sydney, Australia. This is Sydney Harbour right there, and that is not my boat. It's a lovely place to live. I am writing a course on exactly these kinds of things, but obviously with a lot more in it, a lot more videos and a lot more topics of making things easy. If you would like to know when the course um, is available, 
I'm going to put a link there. That looked really stupid, I know, but I went to the wrong side first. It's top right. There's going to be a little, oh my God, box. You can click it and give me your email address and I'll tell you when the course is available if you're interested. If you know anyone who you think this video would help, tell them about it. I'm going to see you in video two and I'll show you exactly how to get an awesome sound on the head joint. See you there.